Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Video Trading and this is the fifth video in this series and in this video I am going to show you adding VMware ESXi host to vCenter server. So vCenter server is a management console basically which provides uh, GUI or um, interface to manage all your VMware infrastructure. So here is the demo environment which we are going to use so we, we have total five virtual machine in this demo demo so the first machine is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my active active server here you can see my active active dns active active domain service and dns server is running on this machine so here is the name win 2 k 12 dc01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com and the second machine is vCenter 6.5 which is my vCenter where I have installed my vCenter server and you can see where I am logged in in web client VMware vSphere web client you can see the server name, IP address and all the details and the next we have three ESX, ESX 1, 2 and 3 so you can see this is ESX 01 here we have ESX01 and this is ESX02 and the finally we have ESX03. So to add a Hyper V, uh, to add a ESX host in a, a vCenter server, we need to go to vCenter server. Here we have. So you can see I have already added one host which is ESX01 here. So I'm going to add another host. You can right click here and add host. So now wait for installation. So we you can put the IP address or the hostname. So I am going to use hostname ESXi02. Click next, and now we have root and password for root account. And click next. Now it's validating the host credential and everything. So for for one time we can add only one ESXi host in a uh, in a vCenter server. So this is giving the SH1 thumb thumbprint. So yes, I want to connect. When we have the options here, like name, vendor, platform, and version of the ESXi. So click next. And now it's asking for license. So I'm going to use the evaluation mode so here you can see evaluation license okay so click next this is a 60 days expire so on lockdown mode i'm going to disable for now click next and we have a vm location so we don't have any virtual machine created on this machine so go ahead and we are done click on finish now you can see it's starting adding add a standalone host 80 percent completed so it will take few more seconds now we have esxi host is added so same procedure i'm going to follow one more time to add the next esxi which is esxi3 so put your esxi3 click next and we need to put your root and password for root account and wait for thumbprint so here we have SHA thumbprint click yes now we have a vendor information model and everything so click next and license I'm going to use evaluation once again disable the lockdown mode click next and VM's location we don't have any VM running on this machine also so click next we are good to go click on finish so it will take some time so now you can see we have added all three ESX host here now if I click on ESXi you can see all the details here if I go and close this button you can see the summary details of the host hypervisor version model processor type logical core NIC how much NIC is connected and we have here the monitoring also CPU 
and the memory and the storage and we have here monitoring status for all the for like ESXi triggered alarm everything we have a configuration if you want to configure anything like a storage networking data stores we have all the options here like if you go in physical adapter you can see the physical adapter how much physical adapter is connected with this X so you can see and we have option to configure the speed as well as and click on permissions you can see who have a permission on this so we have domain account vcenter admin access vms which is running on this esxi host we don't have any vm running we don't have any template or v app also so resource pooling we have option to configure resource pooling and data store and finally we have a network so i'm going to rename this data store so rename this action we have renamed so I'm going to call it like local ASXI01 so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put the same name for all the data stores like this is for 2 so I'm going to put here 2 and for this I'm going to put 3 here So now you can see we have ESX host. We have from here we can see the all the virtual machine and template. We have a data store which is in this data center which logical data center and we have finally networks. VM network. So so this is all about how to how to add ESXi 6.5 host in a vCenter service. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.